Welcome to Stranger Connections, where I celebrate wonderfully weird people. Oh, boy. Yeah. Really weird people and quirky stories. I'm your curious beast and host, Lisa David Olson. I'm the practically world famous <laughs> business humorous, interactive speaker and connection queen who is quite distracted right now by one of the two guests. And I'm going to bring on two gentlemen that have known each other most of their lives. Chris Tetta and Ralph Tetta, welcome to Stranger Connections. <laughs> Thank you for Thank being here. Thank you for having us. <clears throat> Ralph, you, you are embarrassing, yeah. you're embarrassing me right now. Oh, geez. Is there any way that I can possibly ever not embarrass you? Oh, I'm telling <laughs> you. Are just, you, you go through life feeling defensive and feeling like you're in a little shell your whole life. Then I do you're, not. You're you miss should out not talk to me that way. And fun. I'm talking to you that way. You should not talk. This to is bro this is brotherly love. This is brotherly love. Like uh, yes, they are not married. They both share the same last name because they grew up in the same house. So who's older? Who's wiser? So did Cain and Abel. <laughs> well, Ralph is yeah, older. Those, those could be. <laughs> and, Ralph is uh, older. Christopher is a Bud. He's Bud Wiser. Nice. All right. So Ralph is older, but not necessarily wiser. Yeah. We'll I am that. in the. Uh, I'm in the fifth. I'm in the fortieth year of being sixteen. That's what's That's basically. Right. It's annual <laughs> annual event, so he gets yeah. cake whenever he damn well pleases. I think oh. Ralph and I, Ralph and I, have like a kind of a same amount of like fool. How same so? level of same level of fool, just different flavors. Different flavors, oh fool! That just sounds like a yes. great ice cream shop I would go into. Yes. Well, that's the problem is you don't get what you ordered. <laughs> you know, you think you can peanut butter crunch and it's got it's got like little plastic balls of shampoo in it. <laughs> Bath beef. Hey. We're cleaning out the track. So Ralph is the the actual stand-up comic, mm -hmm. right? But and what is your job, Chris? The younger brother, Chris. Yeah, so I I my my full-time thing is I work at a in the registrar's office of a uh small private liberal arts college so what does your day look like do you <laughs> do you get summers off nope no summers oh, uh summers we go in and we we do a lot of stuff uh i mean it, it just depends on the day so for example classes are starting up next week we are in the process of trying to uh like get students registered for classes and everything buttoned down and tied up and Everybody and of course, you know, that's uh, the last minute stuff is coming in. So we're we're dealing with a lot of that right now. You're dealing with the parents. <laughs> well, you know, there are some parents that get involved. I know that, you know, the the so I deal with mostly the online students who tend to be older. Oh, so they, yeah, they right. are the parents. They are the parents. Um, but they, they typically what I found is that if if you're coming in as an adult learner you may have had like like i, I was dealing with a, a student who went to like seven other schools and uh -huh. so we're looking you know we're going through all of all of her transcripts trying to figure out wait a minute what she's got credit from where wait we're, we're like i lift up a rock there's another transcript it's just that's kind of how it's going for me that's wild so is she getting kicked out of a lot of schools? Is that I, don't, the thing? I think she She's... was just she was just on a tour. I don't know. She just wanted to go to every school. And she uh... was kicked kicked out of. She was kicked out of clown college. <laughs> yeah, I just taught at clown college. Hey, that was some good money and good people. No joking. We we don't take, really? we don't take transfer credit from clown college. Sorry. No, no, no. It was like you know I was teaching improv and such, and it was really <laughs> nice. You say, all right, everybody in a in a line, and boom, they did it. <laughs> Much different. It was nice. They did whatever you wanted. I loved it. It was great. Well, they'll, they, yeah, they can all get into one car. <laughs> That's true. They all drove together. Just excellent carpoolers. Absolutely. And Ralph, how often Which, how are do, you? How, they... how often are you on stage nowadays? What's going on with you? Um, I, you know, it seems like as soon as I get paid for one gig, then I get to book another one. So, <laughs> I, I actually just got paid for a. You just got paid for something. You just got so paid for something. We so are I'll, having I'll, some technical stuff. So what we're going to do is anytime Ralph cuts out, keep, we're just going to finish the sentence. Out. 
I know. Yeah, we're just going to make stuff up. It's fine. Here's something interesting. So Ralph and I went to a concert the other night and we, <laughs> it was like a kind of a very, <laughs> very heavy rock concert, which I haven't been to in a long time. And um, metal, it was metal. <laughs> it was metal. <laughs> but what I thought was interesting is that we go to this concert and, and Ralph walks away with like phone numbers of four or five different contacts for, for booking comedy or getting guests on the podcast. He's always like, he's just always out there looking and he's just identifying these opportunities. So you talk about, you know, how, how, how often does he do stand up or how often does he get on stage? He gets on on stage as often as he wants. Oh, these days takes his op- own opportunity. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm not r- rushing to try and book a whole, you know, years worth of dates like i used to when i was doing it full time uh for you know for a living um now it's just whatever i can do around locally and you know i'm not chasing it i'm I'm slowing slowing down a little bit in my old age and i'm enjoying the journey more so than chasing the bag ralph is is letting the ralph uh, is letting the comedy come to him yeah it sounds like you you say you're slowing it down but you went to a concert for fun and there you are Still doing your your thing, collecting numbers, trying to Here's get. Here's the thing: you can put a collar on a dog, but he still wants to run. That's true. <laughs> this is true. Look how Ain't nobody putting home's... a collar on Ralph. <laughs> so... They don't make him in in his size. <laughs> Little zapper collars, bark collar. <laughs> oh my gosh! So then, did any of those connections work out from this alleged concert? Yeah, it alleged other- no it actually happened i no i haven't reached out to anybody yet i mean it's it was just uh, the other night you know you don't want to look you don't want to look too eager this was sunday night gotcha okay would i know the band probably not black sabbath <laughs> was it really it was not well it was it wasn't it was, black sabbath. It, was. It, was, it was the one guy per se. the drummer who played on one record one one sabbath record Okay. And a bunch of other guys. Oh, okay. Okay. But he's so, he's kind of a he's kind of a famous. Yeah. Yeah. He's a famous then guy. he was with Ronnie James Dio. He played, yeah. you know. And so they had the rights that, to play. Uh, 80s... yeah, yeah. They were just yeah, they were and... just covering they were covering material that he had played and recorded. So it was, you know, it was fun. It was a just a whole bunch of, I mean, it was a bunch of guys like us, you know, yeah, in their 50s. Right. Reliving, Never saw reliving. such long gray hair in my life. <laughs> right. <laughs> when I was in a band. It, it, was, the, it was like uh, a. I was in a band and we were playing for Halloween and we dressed as Kiss and me being the drummer, I was dressed as Peter Chris, right? And we got carted at the door. Nice. <laughs> oh my On my God. license, I do not look like a cat. A, a painted face yes. cat. Yes. Also, you hired me to entertain you. Yeah. <laughs> so we learned three Kiss songs and played them repeatedly in between oh, our own know. songs. Those Back really in the only... New York groove just doesn't really end. But yeah. <laughs> 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 Tell me some of this. Uh, I want drama. Tell me about growing up. How awful was that? Oh, it was the worst. Although actually, I th- <laughs> for Ralph and I, we, it, was mostly, <laughs> it was mostly the two of us against our sister. Oh, let's hear about that. Are we allowed well, to talk I, about the sister? We used to. Uh, so my sister, our sister's the youngest. And on our street, there were down down the, the road, a couple of houses that had big families, mostly girls. And so Ralph and I would, uh, for some reason, we, it seemed fair that it would be like eight or nine girls against Ralph and I for kickball. And we would go out there and play kickball. And so they, you know, it'd just be Ralph pitching and I'm out in the field <laughs> trying to catch all, you know, catch the ball. Well, you're guys, it's, it's different. We, we, you know, we need more of us because we're girls. Oh, they, they would just absolutely murder us every single exactly. time. Exactly. My you know they were talking about you before you all showed up. They're like, yeah, okay, probably. this time they're going to believe it again that we're just weak little <laughs> girls. Let's get them. <laughs> so we, essentially, essentially, Ralph and I were Charlie Brown. Oh, collectively? Oh, yeah. buddies. It took the two of us to make it. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Oh. <laughs> well, we, were, we were pretty <laughs> close growing up. We were pretty close growing up. We did a lot of the same things together. We were, listen, I will say that we were, my opinion is that we were, people who didn't know us thought we were friends because we didn't look all that. 
much alike, but I'm we definitely alike. enjoyed the same They didn't know things. that we were Nice. They didn't know oh, we were yeah. brothers. <laughs> right, right. That helps too. So every time you cut out Ralph, Chris is filling in your sentence. So just Son so you know. of a bitch. <laughs> I know. You've got so... <laughs> I you know I don't normally have technical difficulties. Normally it's him. You know I wish this problems. would happen on our podcast. He lives in the I woods. Might, <laughs> I might get to say something. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> so growing up in that neighborhood, what would you say you guys were known for besides being pretty lousy ball players? Were we known for anything? Hmm. That's a great question. What crowd were no, we? Because we, 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 we weren't really... the we weren't the party crowd. We weren't the we weren't the athletes. Uh-uh. We weren't the brains. Ralph was a little no. smart. Ralph was uh Ralph was smart. Uh, Ralph actually was yeah. a very good student. He was uh student association president. He was oh. uh he was uh editor of the school newspaper. Oh jeez. And he missed out on National Honor Society like yeah. just by the by that much. That and, does uh, not align with being a comic. I don't get he's it. Still bitter about it. <laughs> okay, that aligns with the being bitterness. A comic. Yeah, that, the bitterness. Yeah, the bitterness is there. Oh my god. By a... <laughs> underlying bitterness so is my the best. father who was listen my father was uh, a thyroid patient he was uh, he had a hyperthyroid condition so he was literally a, a stick figure of a man and i was heavy and so his name was ralph tetta my name's ralph tetta with the added added initial w he's got the middle name my father didn't have a middle name so uh, oh. hopefully hey Ralph. this is definitely here. my worst nightmare <laughs> this is my worst nightmare <laughs> in the middle of a story and the and the and, you just gotta and, make your story and the system shorter. crashes I, it's the universe's way i don't know what's going to get to the here's point a, here's the story i was smart the end <laughs> he's uh, out well, that's well, we okay. were, you know, we we actually, it, it's kind of funny because um, Ralph and I, of course, we went to the same elementary school, and one of the things that we would do in so seventh grade was the last grade, and then from there you would kind of go on to the the high school or the whatever it was, and they would always do these what they mm-hmm. would call prophecies. So you would write prophecies for your classmates, and so Ralph's was, uh, Ralph Tetta has been declared a nu- a nuisance to public health. His jokes made everyone sick. That was Ralph's prophecy. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. Well, I don't I remember did. that at all. And and mine oh my God. ended up mine ended up being Chris Tetta has written a book called 101 Jokes to Cure Insomnia. Oh wow. This is what I think this is what we were known for. We were known for uh for I guess telling jokes and being kind of <laughs> now. <laughs> Not, not willing or not uh, afraid to bomb. Well, and before we started recording, uh, Ralph said something about he's got a pile of clothes. And I said, well, don't you have an elliptical to set those on? Ralph immediate, re- immediately writes a new joke for that. Do you yeah. remember it? It was he's only moments ago. Go. No? Yeah, no I got the Planet, Planet Fitness membership. You said you got the Planet Fitness membership, so you'd have a place to put your clothes. I think that's a keeper. So the prophecy, you know, it's it's yeah. somewhat true. Yeah, and and we you know we always enjoyed. I think we always enjoyed you know stand up comedy when we were kids growing up. We'd watch uh, you know we always watched Saturday Night Live, and then right after that was an evening at the Improv. And, yes. And um, you know we would stay up and watch that and see all the different. You know, I remember seeing Jerry Seinfeld for the first time. You know, on evening at the Improv, and just all kinds of different different comedians. Keaton, so Michael Keaton as a stand up. Yeah. Oh, Michael really? Keaton doing stand up? I don't remember that. But we loved oh. it. And I think I think that that's something. So when when Ralph, you know, kind of started getting into doing it, uh, you know, doing open mics and stuff like that, it was just a culmination of kind of a, a, a journey that had already started way back when we were like, you know, in our like early mid teens, watching comedy, enjoying you know comedy movies and. He's he's I think you know gravitated toward the stand up. I've always enjoyed more like uh, comic actors. Like I I find some of the funniest people to be like Bill Murray and David Letterman. That's that's kind of my my sort of thing. I I I love I love David Letterman's delivery and his style. Yes, more and, dry. Uh, yeah, just kind of you know 
Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm uh, I'm hosting, I'm emceeing a uh, a show tonight, which is it, it's uh, our local community theater taking part in our our local library does a concert series, and so the community theater is going to do a you know different people are going to come and do a number of songs, and so I'm going to emcee that, and it's going to be fun just you know to kind of get up and and in between you just sort of shuffle the acts on and off, you make some some you know comments and that sort of thing. And I never really got too much into, you know, doing stand up, although I did a little bit of it when we were in college. But Ralph, Ralph's the one who really took it and ran with it. And at no point did you think you two would do stage work together? Um, you know what? The only thing that we I think we ever really thought we were going to do together was be in a band. We we had one point wanted to uh, be the heavy metal band. He Ralph uh, plays bass. I play, yeah. play drums. And we were, you know, we we had a time where we went through looking for a guitar player and singer and just trying to like, you know, put something together. It never came together. But um, one of the things we do have, Ralph, Ralph calls it our, our bucket list show where we just put a group together. Oh yeah. Learn some songs and find a venue and, and just do the concert together um, just to kind of say, yeah, we, we just finally got ourselves on stage together for music. Yeah. Bucket th- th- list. Sometimes. A- the bucket list show there are open jams you can go take over yeah. or you could do the yeah. is it tanya harding take out the bass player's knee or something when he goes to the bathroom <laughs> that's a good idea yeah i can play I like one song on bass and it's tom petty's breakdown so i can play that one song and a band one time went on break or the, just the bass player had to mm-hmm. had a potty emergency and i got it from the audience and asked if i could play that one song and i did <laughs> How fun. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> yes, and it's just the same over and well, over. Three. No. Swing for the fences. I think Hell that, yeah. You know, I think that there is a personality that that wants the stage. And although I haven't really pursued it, if the opportunity is there, I'll take it. And I'm the same way. Like, I would love to, you know, I remember like, it's like, hey, come sing with the band. I'm like, well, I don't want to sing with the band. Can I play drums with the band? Right. You know, no, our drummer says no. You can't play drums. You can't. Drummers don't this. want their stuff touched. <laughs> no, they don't. They absolutely don't. They don't want that. Now at all. you know what. I see. I want to throw this. I want to throw this in here. So, uh, uh, I, I will somehow manage to work this into any conversation that I can. But I am a a triple amputee. I have, I have three toes in the foot. And while I was in a surgical shoe, I went over to a buddy's house. This is somebody whose father was in the same hospital room as me. Like we shared a room and the guy unfortunately wound up dying, but I made friends with the family. So the, his son, who's about my age was in a band called gypsy land. And they said, come over some Tuesday night. We'll jam. So the amputee part, and now that Ralph cut out, was it three toes? Did he say? Yeah, he yeah he three toes off of uh, I think it's his left foot. Whoa! He's, he's only got pinky and uh, and big toe. <laughs> so <laughs> so he can do the rock and roll. So yeah, well, you know when foot. we when we started the uh, the podcast, uh, one of the jokes that we made. So when we started the podcast, he he had only he had eight toes and not not just seven. So the joke the drummer was didn't that, show up. He got my. <laughs> But the joke was that we had that it was eighteen dollar podcast. It was one dollar for every toe between the two of us. Oh, cute! That's oh. nice. So, Ralph, while you cut out, uh, Chris finished the story. <laughs> well, I I, fin- I, know, I, I heard it. I heard it. Told a different story. <laughs> I went. See, I had to go out to the other room, and my my foster son left some internet cape. When he did leave the room, we never <laughs> lost connection. Did you notice that, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. I think Ralph That's is just, okay. Ralph just emits an electronic field. I, it, I think it's your mic. No, it's sucking. It's sucking away the bandwidth. Are you on the can be the mic? The, no. Hmm. No, this is hardwire. Okay. So am I. Well, you know, Ralph is a superhero. He might just have some kind of superhero. <laughs> radiation i'm that, radioactive that is just interfering yeah. uh, it's funny it, 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 and i do uh, call ralph a superhero because he's kind of like you know he's he's a comedian and all that but he's one of the things about ralph is that he's got the kind of like a, a very big heart for for people he really cares about people 
And I, I joke that he's a superhero. Um, and I remember on his 50th birthday, I wrote something I posted up on Facebook, just kind of like all the reasons why Ralph is a superhero. It's kind of like, you know, he always believes in doing what's right. He, you know, he stands up for people who can't stand up for themselves and a whole bunch of other stuff. But so I, nice. I joke that Ralph is a, is a superhero. Um, but in in truth, he's, you know, he's my big brother and he's always been kind of, you know, for somebody I look up to. Protective of you. Yeah, and he's, he's definitely, you know, and we like I said, we've just always been really good friends. And, and even when he was on the road a lot, you know, like we got we got caught up on a bunch of stuff uh, on a couple of drives we took over the past two years because our mom mom had taken ill and then mm. eventually passed away. But we took two two car rides down to South Carolina and I got to you know get caught up on sort of like, hey, so you were on the road, you know, because I knew he, you know, he was doing different things. But because I had moved away from our hometown, I, I didn't know exactly. But we got caught up on stuff. And and that's kind of how the our podcast, the $18 podcast kind of started. It grew out of the conversations we had on those those two car rides. Um, we just decided, you know, we should do something together. Like we just, we want to, we, we think it would be fun. We've got some, we got some, you know, a certain amount of skill. Uh, so we kind of, you know, break things and, up. Uh, and definitely we, have, uh, we, have chem we have chemistry. We have chemistry. Yep. Um, and we have a lot of, you know, uh, I guess shared experiences that make it really easy to talk about things. Who are you seeking for the show? Who's been like, Oh my gosh, this is the kind of guest we wish we could have every week. Um, well, <laughs> we haven't had a lot of guests. We've just sort of been, kind of been going with, you know, like, hey, let's get a guest on. And we we started thinking of people that we just want to talk to. But right. Ralph, has, Ralph has brainstormed a few things. Like, for example, we, we love corn nuts and we talk about corn nuts a lot. <laughs> and Ralph was like, hey, what if we got somebody from Hormel? To come on and talk about corn nuts because corn nuts are one of our favorite things. Once again, it's a shared experience. They it's one of the few things they sold kind of like in the cafeteria, you know, at our high school as like a snack thing. Yeah. And so we just have always been eating corn nuts and you know, we we refer to them as the noble corn nut. There are people who don't appreciate the noble corn nut, like my wife. But um Ralph and I actually Ralph gave me a bag of uh mango. Habanero corn nuts. The other There's night. No need for that. Don't mess with the corn nut. The corn nut is fine on its own. L let me tell you something. They're delicious. And I, I said, I'm not eating the whole bag. I'm not you, eating the whole bag. What happened, I Chris? Ate, I ate the whole bag. One sitting, ate the whole bag. Four, <laughs> two, four <laughs> servings. <laughs> not, they were delicious. Yes. And your stomach was like, Please, why? Why? <laughs> yeah, the next morning, corn nuts. There, you know, if you eat a whole bag of corn nuts, actually, if you eat a whole bag of any kind of snack food, the next day, not, not good, not good. And that's not the kind of snack you should be having when no one else in the car is eating anything, <laughs> like Fritos <laughs> or beef jerky. <laughs> not nice. Yeah, but well, my tell joke... me, guys. Oh, go ahead, Chris. I was just my my joke about corn nuts is that my wife my wife does not like them. And there was one time where I had a part bag of corn nuts, like on my dresser or something. And, and she picked it up and came to me with it. Like she found <laughs> a bag of marijuana. Like she found a bag of, of, of pot in my dresser, my top dresser drawer. Where did you get this? Who taught you how to do this? <laughs> this corn trabend. Yeah. <laughs> corn trabend. There we go. That's the name of our bucket list band, Contraband. There it is. <laughs> it's a drummer and a bass guy. It's Contraband. Yes. All right. Wait. I need to know, do you guys have a dare or a prank story? One that you've done or had done to you that you would share with me? I mean like a dare that we've something somebody's dared us to do or? Yes. Did someone dare you or I... did... Did I live do such one? a I live such a a tame life. It, I really I don't know. I you just told the corn nut story, man. I don't know. You're a wild guy. Don't lie. That's about as that's as far as it goes. <laughs> you guys didn't prank each other growing up. Um. Don't well, even one time. Like well, prank. once again, once again, it was Ralph and I against uh, our sister. Um, and one time we did disassemble. <laughs> we did disassemble her bed and hide it in the attic. Oh my God! Yes. 
<laughs> that was one of my favorites. You mean she walks in her room and she and has then, like nothing there, went, or right, nothing, just the whole thing. Yeah, gone. Took, took it apart, took it upstairs to the to the attic, and just put it, you know, and just waited. Yeah, just that's waited. the part about pranks. It's the waiting part. Yeah, but you two kind of had this. We don't get each other agreement. You oh, and Ralph? we just well, I mean, Ralph was very large, and I was younger than him, and uh, he's large, and I'm young. And I didn't, you know, I, I wasn't about to, like, you know, tempt fate. And, you know, he wasn't, he liked me well enough. He didn't, you know, I guess he didn't, you know, we used to, you know, we when we were little, we'd wrestle a lot. We, like, you know, dinner was over. We got to the other room and just, you know, kind of start hitting True. each other with things. And Mix it up. Each other, yeah. We'd have, we'd <laughs> That's have right. After dinner wrestling. But yeah, we anything really... to avoid dishes. <laughs> Yeah, we weren't really pranking each other. We would, like I said, we would do some different things to uh, to our sister. But, you know, for the most part. We were what good about you on the road, Ralph? Uh, you did my pranks? Pr- Go ahead. Well, wait a minute. Oh, I OK, well, I've got I've got a good one. So uh, there's a, a comic from Wisconsin named Jason Russell. And uh, Jason, I was going through Oklahoma City at the time and Jason had gotten a new car. So he's down there, and my friend Steve Burr, uh, who was originally from Rochester, now living in Florida, uh, he was on the show as well. And then so I hung out with those guys. I had a few days off from this college tour I was on. So he's got this, you know, this brand new. uh... Oh, what is it, Chris? What did he have a brand new what? Toothbrush? I don't know. We'll we'll just have to wait until Ralph comes back. It's kind of like, it's a cliffhanger. Let's guess. He had a brand uh, new. He had a brand new. We left off at he had a brand new. Yeah, this is incredibly frustrating. He had a brand new car. And I don't even remember the model. But uh, basically, I took a bunch of empty Red Bull cans. And uh, I took some duct tape. And I made like a just got married train and put them on the back of his car and hid them behind the wheel so that when he got in the car and started driving away, he could both feel and hear something dragging. <laughs> and he stopped, and then he started again and stopped, and he got out. So now here's me, and, and Steve's in his car laughing our asses off, just like, ah! That's a good one. I do I'll have be very I, mad, but I'm glad I didn't have a car issue. I do have a little a little prank that I I just thought of. So once again, this is I live a tame life. So uh, at one point, my youngest daughter, uh, a.k.a. she who shall not be named. Petunia. Petunia. She she would uh, get dropped off at our work. So my wife and I worked in the same office. And so after school, she would get off the bus at our workplace and come to our office and just kind of hang there for the last hour and a half. And one time she needed to go down to the van to get something, you know, that she left in there. So I was watching her from the the upper floor where we were at. And it just occurred to me, huh, I'll wait till she like closes the van door. And then I got the auto open the door. So I waited till she closed it and started going in and I opened the door. She heard it, looked back, <laughs> went, closed the door. I opened it again. <laughs> And then she went close. I figured two times is good. Two times yeah. is good. Three times would be kind of cruel. Um, but then she was like, I think she was a little nervous and she came in and I was just laughing and she was like, wait, did you do that? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I was so worried. I thought I broke it. <laughs> so That was the fun you could have with uh, grandma when remotes were new, you know, just <laughs> mute the TV and stuff. <laughs> 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 Oh well, I some oh, other TV's time. Uh, off now. What's that? I missed it, Ralph. Oh, oh no, no! You were saying the you know messing with the remote, putting the mute on, and then saying, "Oh, Grandma, the TV's off now." <laughs> Good example. <laughs> like Ralph, somebody's pranking Ralph. I think uh, that's what I think. Like the, it could be this the internet index. guy. Hey, well, watch this guy's recording a podcast. Oh, it's gonna drop out there. Just like with the Zoom ones where the people come in with inappropriate adult things into the Zoom. I haven't had that happen yet, but no, I, I think no, we're close good. to that. Well, we might have to do a do-over at some point, but <laughs> it was fun filling in for Ralph. 
even though he was here in person. <laughs> yeah, well, next time it must be Ralph. I don't I feel... know what wrong. Honestly. We, we have no idea what you said. No, I think he's chewing corn nuts. Okay, well, I'm honored to have <laughs> chatted with mostly you, Chris, and Ralph in spirit. And remember, we can only be strangers once, and I invite you both to stay weird. This is where you say okay. Thank you for having us. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah.